Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 15 Minutes of Game, a show where we give indie games 15 minutes to impress. As always, we have three titles ready on the chopping block for your perusal. If you get bored of any of them during the time, you can skip to the next one with the annotations to be found in the description below this video. These are effectively blind first impressions, so please do not treat them as reviews or anything even close. Bearing that in mind, and the possibility of a good slapping if you don't remember it, we're gonna kick it off with the first game. Our first game on the chopping block today will be Crimson Clover World Ignition, which is available on Steam and Axiom Esports sponsor GOG for $10. It's by Yutsubana, I think, an adventure planning service, and it would appear to be a Dojin Bullet Hell which is not the sort of game that I'm usually into, but I had this game recommended to me by a friend, goes by the name of Slow Beef, who does the Rets of Prey channel, and he told me, you just gotta try it, just give it a bash. I'm like, okay, fine, we're gonna give it a bash. In fact, we're gonna give it 15 minutes of bash, and it's time shall begin now. All right. Novice and Arcade. I think we'll start on Novice. Not really too comfortable with anything else. Okay. Original mode. All right, that seems like the way to go. Let's go with that. Three ship types. So, huh? so this one, this one, and this one. This this one sounds fun. It has varying attack width. I have no idea what's going to be going on with that. Okay, let us begin. I have played the tutorial just or watched the tutorial just to make sure I kind of know what I'm doing. All right, here we go. You might notice most of the screen width is of course wasted because vertical shooters. You know how they go. Such is the way of it. All right, let's see how many bullets are going to be flying in my direction, or indeed from me. Well, I already start with quite a lot of bullets, so I, I approve of that. That's pretty good. And the stars flying at me, which one assumes I have to collect and don't kill me horribly. You know, there's something strangely satisfying about getting a lot of stars. Now, my understanding is that as you build up the amount of stars that you get and the stuff that you kill, you build up your break meter and you can enter break mode, which will allow you to blow up a whole bunch of crazy stuff very, very fast. And now I exploded. Okay, that's not really the best of starts. Okay, break is ready. Let's hit the break button and see what happens. Okay, this is- whoa! Okay, this is break mode. Everything is exploding. There's lots of stars flying in my general direction, and I'm feeling just horribly satisfied by it. It's weird. It's like, why, why is it so satisfying to have a bunch of stars fly at you and collect them? I don't know. It's... I guess it's something to do with the old nostalgia of playing other shooters and collecting a bunch of things for points. Alright, so there's also a lock-on mode, which allows you to fire missiles in the general direction of things, as you can probably see. And you can also fire a bomb if you happen to have your bomb ready. So you can use part of your break meter in order to fire off a bomb by the looks of it. Which is kind of neat. Uh, let's see how many of these we can lock onto. So this is novice mode. Okay. This is a little bit terrifying. I can't imagine what arcade mode's going to end up being like. It's so busy. There's so much crazy stuff on the screen. And usually that would be bad. But as long as you just pay attention to your ship. And don't worry too much about everything else. It seems like that's actually fine. Which is a bit surprising. I think... Uh, traditionally, you'd probably want clarity on the screen if you were going to play a bullet hell, but in this case, as long as you keep an eye on the middle of your ship so you're not getting hit by anything, then everything seems to work just fine. Okay, there's a lot of stuff coming in my general direction. I'm going to enable brake mode, and apparently I can also double brake, which does... What? <laughs> that's, that's the entire screen. That is the entire screen. All right, fair enough. Why not? This, this is ridiculous. <laughs> what is all of this? It's absolutely eye-meltingly wild is what it is. All right, I probably shouldn't have used that before what appears to be a boss fight, but never mind. Uh, we'll deal with it, I'm sure. All right, here we go. So now we're going to keep an eye out for bullets. This is novice mode, bear that in mind. There are wilder modes available by the looks of it. Okay, let's not get hit by the first basic set of attacks. That would be somewhat embarrassing, wouldn't it? Yes, I think so. So it slows you down slightly when you use the lock-on mode. But you can use the locker mode while you continue firing, so you've got a bunch of additional firepower, assuming that you're actually paying attention. And it's a little hard to commentate while playing this game, I have to admit. It's perhaps to be expected, but good lord, it is a little bit tricky. Alright, here you go, here you go, have some of that. I think we'll do the lock on again, because I don't really want to get too close. Okay, that should do the job. Oh, break is ready. Alright, let's break then. Alright, break mode, and everything gets horribly murdered, and I get a bunch of stars and multipliers and explosions and... 
One assumes there are anime bunnies appearing that give me all sorts of wonderful things. I don't know. And I... Okay. Get, I That's a power-up, I assume. All right. Cool. No lives lost, which I... Well, I did lose a life, so I don't get a score for that. I get what appears to be 3.5 billion score, because why the hell not? All right. Okay. Well, that was a decent enough start. Didn't have too many problems. I said the soundtrack to this game is pretty killer as well. Liking that a great deal. I don't want to miss out on too many of these stars. I want to collect those if possible. All right, let's go break. Slows you down just a little bit as you do that, but then you murder everything on the screen. So that's reasonably satisfying, I've got to admit. Although I am still trying to keep an eye on the bullets that are coming my way in the vain hope that I won't actually run into any of them. Thankfully, the color of the enemy bullets versus the color of my bullets is different, so I can still see them coming, even if a lot of stuff's going on, on the screen. But I have a feeling that for some people, that just how visually busy it is is going to end up being a problem. But also simultaneously, it's kind of what's attractive about it. It's just, it's so manically ridiculous. There's just so much nonsense on the screen at any given time. It's just a very, very satisfying thing to play. You're being bombarded with stars that one assumes increase your multiplier and your break rate. Which is always good. You've got so much stuff on the screen at any given time. Graphically, it's not too bad either. It's, it's got the same problem that a lot of these Japanese titles do in that they're at very weird low resolutions. This is designed to be played vertically on, a, on an arcade box. So it gets a little bit weird when you're playing it on a PC. Unless you want to rotate your monitor around and do crazy things like that. Which is not outside the realm's possibility, by the way. A lot of people do that entirely possible. Hello, let's get a bunch of those stars. There we go. That looks nice. Okay, he's not quite dead. We're working on it. He's almost dead. Okay, and I can, if things get a little bit too gnarly, I can bomb. There we go, which actually kills off all the bullets. So that's useful to know. Let's see if we can get another lock on. This is really fun, I've got to admit. I, it doesn't really seem to do too many things different to most shmups, but the thing is, I don't really know honestly that much about shmups in the first place so it's a little bit difficult to judge that you know my my knowledge of shmups is mostly based on the older western ones like star gunner and raptor call of shadows and things like oh what's the name of that bloody thing yeah xenon 2 mega blast and maybe some of the more recent stuff like jets and guns but i have played some things like Jamestown, which are a little bit more modernized and kind of go down the bullet hell route. But Japanese-wise, I don't really play a lot of these. I played Astabreed, and I enjoyed that a great deal. But this is probably one of the craziest visual things I've ever seen. Like, it's eye-meltingly ridiculous in the amount of stuff that it actually shows on the screen at any given time. And surprisingly enough, that actually works. I can't imagine what it's looking like on YouTube. It's probably blurry as all hell because there's just too much stuff on the screen, and YouTube most likely can't handle it. But... It, it's wild. This is really, really fun. Alright, okay. I think we have a break ready for this one, so that should be helpful. Let's see if we can beat the second boss here. I apparently have one life. Something kicked in. I'm not sure what that was. Some kind of power-up, I think. Let's get the lock on ready. Alright. That is a lot of stuff coming in our general direction. Let's fire all of the weapons. Okay, I don't have break ready yet. That was just a bomb. All right, well, that's not too helpful. Let's get lock on ready again. Okay, so we're safe down here for the time being. We are doing damage, right? Yes, but very, very slowly. Okay, good to know. So I'm focusing less on the enemy here and more just trying to look at my own ship to make sure I don't get hit by anything, which is tricky, to say the least. All right, damage done. Good, good, good. Break is ready by the looks of it. All right, let's break. Here we go. Unleash hell on their squad. Everything we got. Oh, he's run off. That's not... Ah! Crap! Okay, yeah. Moving was a, a bad idea by the looks of it. That was not a good place to be whatsoever. I shouldn't have moved up trying to chase it. I should have stayed where I was. It would have been a lot safer. Okay, that's probably evil. Alright. So the hitbox for my ship is very, very small. It seems to be like the little spinning yellow thing in the center. Would appear to be my hitbox. Okay, I'm going to have to clear here. There's no way. All right, break mode. Here we go. More damage, more damage, more damage. Use the lock-ons. Don't ignore... Oh, what the hell? Oh, ran right into it. I'm such a moron. Damn. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I can continue then. It's not super hard, even on novice, but I am really, really bad at these titles. And honestly, commentating while doing it is tricky. But this is... This has got a lot of really interesting boss design and... 
it's just non-stop craziness, which I really appreciate. There's a lot to be said for that. And there's just something about collecting all those stars. I don't know what it is. The, 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 damn. There's something about that. Just having a bunch of shiny gold stars flying in your general direction. I guess that's how they get children to do what <laughs> they're supposed to do in school. Just throw gold stars at them. There we go. We beat boss two. Wasn't particularly good beating of boss two, but we did beat it nonetheless. So, hey. I'll get. I'll take what I can get at this point and collect whatever these are. Okay. Extra life. There we go. All right. Sweet. Overall score. Only 68 million, so that was absolutely pathetic in comparison to my first effort. Absolutely terrible. Let's see if we can do one more level before things fall to pieces. You know, I'm tempted to put it on arcade mode, actually, and see what happens. Let's do that, Mark. All right. Arcade. Let's give that a shot. I have a feeling this might be a little bit wild. All right. Original mode. This will try ship type one here. And we can skip the tutorial. We don't have to worry too much about that. Alright, is this any more difficult? There are other modes like Unlimited and things like that in Survival, which I would imagine are a lot more difficult. But I'm interested to know how many bullets come in your general direction in Arcade mode. Novice mode seems about right for me. That seems like the kind of difficulty that I could handle, practice a little bit, and not be awful at. Alright, let us begin. On the original difficulty mode, which is Arcade. Okay, so far so good. Nothing to worry about as of yet few more bullets coming in our general direction, although not a huge number. We need more stars. I think it might be the boss that's going to scare me, I think, at this point. It's entirely possible. All right, let's just get all of those nice and easy. Hello. Oh, oh okay. All right. Things are starting to get a little heated, let's just say. Use the bomb. Make sure that I survive that. There we go. Okay, I'm not dead yet. This is a plus. This is a little tricky, certainly. Uh, let's use break mode. All right, there we go. And then we can gun down everything on the screen and get loads of gold stars and feel like a wonderful human being. Something about being bombarded with gold stars. I don't know what it is, folks. But it is effective. Okay, all right. We're still alive. All right, not doing too badly here. It's okay. It's not bad. Oh, all right. Well, thankfully, when you blow them up, their bullets disappear, which is kind of necessary. Oh, God. Oh, please kill it. There we go. Yeah, this is tight, colorful, enjoyable, visually wild in pretty much every way. Great soundtrack. Simple but satisfying score-based mechanics. Not too crazy ridiculous. Like, it actually seems like a good intro to the genre to me. This is the kind of thing that maybe I'd say to someone, hey, if you like the idea of Japanese bullet hell shmups but don't want to dive in too deep too early, then maybe a game like this might be helpful for you. I'm not sure how I'm still alive. I really have no idea. I have no right to be by the looks of it. All right, let's go break. More stuff. We've got double break ready. I'm going to try and save that for the boss if I can. All the stars! What the hell? <laughs> This isn't even... I'm pretty sure there's not even any enemies on the screen. They're just throwing stars at me just to make me happy. All right. I think break is about ready. Let's see if we can beat the boss. Can we do it? Unlikely. <laughs> but I'm going to give it a bash. All right. Target lock. With all the lasers I got. Okay. So far, so good. All right. Can I break? Yep, here we go. And explode immediately. Okay, not, not, not the best thing that could have happened. Oh, 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 okay. All right, then. Um, hmm, right. This, I don't think you're supposed to be able to speak coherently while they're doing things like that to you. This is the first boss. All right, okay. All right, then. That's not terrifying or anything. No, 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 no whatsoever. I'm sure everything will be just, oh, God damn it. I do better when I'm not in break mode. All right. Just just keep an eye on the ship. Don't look at anything else. Keep an eye on my ship. I'm dead again. Oh, come on. I want to finish this damn thing. I don't care if I have to waste continues on it. Break is ready. Okay. Let's try not to mess it up then. Get as many lock-ons as possible. 
we're good. We're good. We're still good. We're still good. That's the one. Yes. Yes. Good. Just get it. Just get it. <laughs> Kill it. <laughs> yes. All right. Wow, okay. Uh, I might need a little bit of eye surgery after that, but that is Crimson Clover World Ignition. That is quite the beast. That's available on Steam and Axiom Esports sponsored GOG for $10 if you're interested. Ugh. Man, okay. <laughs> need a little bit of a break before the next game if you don't mind. Our second game in the firing line today will be Oli Oli, which is available for $13 on Steam or Axiom Esports sponsored GOG. It's by Roll7 and General Arcade, published by Devolver Digital, and it promises to be a skateboarding game. It did originally come out on PlayStation Vita, if I recall correctly, so I'm intrigued to see how this works on PC. I've plugged in my controller for this one, since it does seem to be the right way to go. Let's uh, throw into the tutorial and figure out exactly how to skate, shall we? Okay, so you press A in order to push. Great. There are fireworks and everyone is extremely happy. And you can launch tricks with the stick. Well, I can immediately see why exactly they want you to use a controller then. There we go. So if I just kind of hold. What? Ah! Well, that wasn't quite what I had in mind. Okay, let's try and do that again without the I must go my people need me thing. Hey, there we go. Oh, not, not, not awful. I, no, whoa, whoa, I, I, things are going on. No, <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I might not be very good at this one. Let go of the left stick to launch a trick. Press A to land the trick. Okay, all right. That would explain why. Maybe I should read this time. That might be a good idea. Okay, up and land. Cool. And up and sloppy. Okay, and up and land. Cool. That was sick, apparently. Everyone is dying in a hail of explosions. Alright, advanced tricks. Okay, quarter... This... Okay, this is where things are gonna get a little bit crazy. Hold down, rotate quarter circle right immediately, and let go immediately to launch. Alright. We can do that. Okay, so double A to push. One, two. And then help. And then land. Okay. Not bad, not bad. And missed that one completely, didn't I? Okay. There we go. Look at that. Sketchy. There was nothing sketchy about that. That looked absolutely phenomenal. Also, the word Trictionary isn't real, and you should be ashamed for using it. You can grind on ledges and such. Okay, hold down left stick to do the ledge, and then do the grinding thing. As you can tell, I'm not really an expert when it comes to skating nomenclature. All right, okay, drink, and... Dr what? Drink? Yes. <laughs> that is what I decided to do at this point. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so you hold down the grind and then you trick off. Okay, all right. Takes a little bit of getting used to. What? If I could stop messing up for a second, that might work. There we go. Well, it's it's sort of a thing, I suppose. Launch, down, drink. There we go. Lovely. I'm now going to refer to every trick as a drink from here on in. I can't guarantee that I'm not drinking in the background. All right. You can grind stair ledges and handrails just like flat ledges. Well, that's useful information to have, isn't it? We can give it a try. I can only imagine things are going to go horrendously wrong. <laughs> but we will give it a shot regardless. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Launch trick. Hold down left and let go left to end the grind. All right. Well, I'm glad I'm doing the tutorial for this because this is not what I would call intuitive necessarily, but... Are any skateboard games ever intuitive whatsoever? Probably not. I've always got some weird control thing that you've got to worry about. There we go. That wasn't too bad. We could have done a lot worse than that. The grinds were good, but you got sloppy landings. Yes, I apologize. Okay, we've got the idea. We can skip that and go on to the next one, I think. Well, apparently, no, we can't do that. It's going to want us to do it regardless and not mess up our landings. Good to know. Remember the A button. So crucial to remember that bloody A button. There we go. That's fine. Everyone should be happy with that. Chain together to get maximum everything. All right. Yes. So, so far, it is a 2D Tony Hawk, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. And once you kind of get used to the trick system, it's not 
too difficult. There we go. Look at that. Things happened, and I didn't fall flat on my face. That's always a plus, I tend to find. I... <laughs> what? <laughs> Under no circumstances is that realistic. It's a little annoying that you have to restart the entire tutorial level every time you mess something like that up. That's maybe a somewhat unnecessary little bit of punishment. I get that it wants you to know what you're doing, but simultaneously... Was that absolutely necessary? Maybe not. Okay, let's do one more. And messed that up horribly, didn't I? Up oh, and land. Okay, right. It should let me through for that, surely. Oh, come on! Really? Punishing damn tutorial. What is the need? I think I've, I've got the grinding thing. Okay, I'm messing it up a couple of times. I accept that. Bloody game is a judgmental mother. All right, let's give it one more shot. Okay, there we go. No! <laughs> okay, I, I think I think we get the idea. Yes, I, oh, but the only thing we haven't got yet is spins. Okay, spin, hold left or right button before you launch the trick in order to get a spin. All right, that's bumper, I assume. Well, it was a spin of some description. you got to admit, there was spinning going on. There you go, look at that. Actually reminds me a little bit of the way that California Games used to do its tricks. Although, obviously, a little bit more advanced thanks to the addition of the analog stick and the broken legs. Give it one more and then we'll try the actual game itself rather than... There you go, look at that, perfect landing, absolutely phenomenal. So I can launch there and then add a spin to it and then break my ankles. Excellent, cool. I think I understand. All right, let's play. Career mode. Reach the end of an amateur level to unlock the next one. All right. You get only get one combo per run in spots mode. I have no idea what spots mode means. It's probably some cool skater term that I'm too old to understand. Okay. Let us begin with this. This. No, this. Yeah, we want to start here, surely. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. So, how do you start the level, exactly? <laughs> am, I, am I missing something here? I'm pressing the start button and nothing's happening. It's a little bit weird. Okay. Oh, alright, it wasn't selected. Okay. Get a score of 20,000, combo of 6k, land all of this stuff. Alright then, fair enough. I will give it a shot. I have no doubt that there's no chance in a million years that I will be able to do any of these things. There's the spin. Look at that. Look at that. A thing happened, and I didn't die. It's impressive, really, isn't it? Combo, combo, and sloppy landing. But we're not dead yet, so there is that. <laughs> <laughs> I completed a challenge. What that challenge was is a mystery to everybody, I think. But regardless, land a front side shove it. I refuse to go into the trictionary because that is not a real word. Okay. There we go. So we can't do a spin off of that. It does take quite a lot of practice to get anything out of, I have to admit. It's not easy. But I can see there's a certain degree of elegance to the controls that if I were to suck less, I would probably be enjoying a lot more. It's not bad by any means. I think a lot of people are going to have a really good time with this. And in fact, if I actually manage to learn the controls, I think I'll enjoy it a lot as well. I did used to like games like Tony Hawk and, of course, all of the snowboarding games with the tricks as well. I used to play Steep Slope Sliders on the Dreamcast. Not the Dreamcast, sorry, the Sega Saturn. They did have a snowboarding game on the Dreamcast, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't as good as Steep Slope Sliders. All right. And then, of course, you had SSX, which was absolutely phenomenal. Alright, get a score 40,000. I don't think any of these things are going to happen, but you know what? We'll give it a try anyway. I'm going to give it a good old college try. I have no idea what that pink thing is, but I gained it, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Trick off that. Land it. Okay, cool. That was absolutely <laughs> terrible. Grind markers are pink. Collect grind markers by grinding through them. Alright, well, that does make a certain degree of sense. Land. Oh, come on, I had that one. Apparently, I didn't. The game at least believes otherwise, at any rate. 
There is also a so-called daily grind, which is a daily challenge, which seems to be something that they're adding to a lot of games lately. I think it, I, I don't know if Spelunky was the first to do it, but it certainly popularized it. Bloody hellfire. And that was a good thing. Adding that sort of thing does add a great deal of longevity to the title. Also, you know, kind of jams a competitive scene in there, even if there isn't one. And does it in, in a way that makes sense. I can, I can dig that. Okay, that was absolutely dreadful. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It's terrible. Oh, bloody hell. I am awful at this. Like, horrible at it. It's, it's, there isn't anything wrong with the control system. Like, th th let me just make that abundantly clear. This has nothing to do with the game. This is entirely my own doing. It's just, it's taking some getting used to. It's almost like you have to play it like a fighting game and get the combos right that way. There we go. And of course, getting used to hitting A to land the trick perfectly is something that I wasn't really used to doing in games like SSX or in, yeah, there you go. Look at that. Or in titles like Tony Hawk, because you, well, kind of just didn't really have to do that. I managed to jump over both grind markers, which is extremely impressive, really. That requires a certain degree of skill that should be appreciated on my part, I think. I think if you don't appreciate that, then you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I am terrible at this. This is fun, though. Once I master this, I have a feeling this will be super satisfying. Because the trick system is relatively simple. Relies, of course, on the analog sticks primarily. So if you're not using a controller, you might have a bad time. Because you're looking at quarter circles, half circles, and things like that, which are not necessarily that easy to do otherwise on a keyboard. Bloody hell. But once you wipe out, you do have to do the entire thing again, which is a little bit frustrating. Would be nice, especially on a level like this, to have a little bit of a checkpoint, perhaps. Because it is easy to mess things up. There we go. Always forget that landing, though. That's the... Grinding is easy enough. You kind of get used to that, because you just, you just end up pressing down. But when you come in for the landing, you forgetting that you're supposed to hit that A button. There we go. Grind. Spin. Mess the landing up. Grind. Grind. Mess the landing up. Jeez. Ah, man. How do you get good at this? I guess a lot more practice than I currently have. But still, there is a lot of satisfaction to be had in actually landing the tricks here. If you're looking for a skateboarding game, then... You don't really have a lot of choices on PC. This one actually seems to be pretty damn good. It's weird that it's done in 2D, but simultaneously, I mean, why not? If you're just dealing mostly with jump tricks and grinds, what's the harm in having it in 2D? You don't need it to be a three-dimensional game. Oh, could have tricked off that easily. Messed that up completely. Trick off this. No, no, bloody hell. <laughs> why am I so terrible? Oh, how hard can it be? The answer is pretty damn difficult. Grind, trick off. Didn't do a spin, should have done that. Okay, trick off this, spin. Nope, screwed that up as well. Sloppy is indeed the way that I would describe it, certainly. Of that, I have no doubt. Didn't even land that properly. Yeah, this is kind of a blast. Once I get past the frustration and start to learn it, there's a great degree of satisfaction to be had. It's just not messing everything up and having to go back and do it all again. There we go. That's good enough landing. I like that. Cool. And we actually tricked off that. That's good. We can probably spin off that and land it. Yes. Yes. Good. Good. Spin off that. And another grind. And land it. There you go. There we go. Sweet. Now I've kind of got into the groove of it just as we get towards the end of this. So outside of that, what, what kind of content is this? So you've got your amateur and your pro career, and you have the, the daily grind, which I guess I could, we can try that out. Compete with the world in a different spot every day. Yes, I can't imagine that I'm going to be beating this, but we'll give it a shot. So you actually have a practice mode on this level. Oh man, this is actually a little bit intense. There we go. Yes, yes. Good, good. Man, why did I select practice mode? I'm actually doing all right. 
Sweet! 123,000. Look at that. That's probably the best thing I will ever pull off. Let's play it for real. Let's see if I can give it one shot. You get one chance, apparently, not to muck this up. So, we will begin with that. Okay, good. Yeah. And I mucked it up! <laughs> He's dead. Well, never mind. My final score was 183 after nailing 123,000 on the practice. Is anyone surprised by my absolute inability to play this game? Probably not. Oli Oli, though. That's, that's a good laugh. That, I think, will be something that a lot of people will enjoy. And I want to go back and play more of it. I want to actually learn this damn game. Because when you actually nail the tricks, it's just as satisfying as it was in games like Tony Hawk. So there you go. All right, Oli Oli. Cool. That's pretty fun. I'm dreadful at it, but I'm going to go practice and try and be less dreadful at it. Let's move on to our final game. All right, our final game on the chopping block today will be Supreme, a game about making pizza, one assumes. It's developed by Nexion Studios. It at least from the outset, looks like it might be a little bit like that game Pizza Tycoon, which was absolutely awesome back in the day and was really more of a mafia simulator than an actual pizza simulator. I can't say I'm hugely impressed by all of this, and I don't know what all of this is about, but we're going to get into it anyway, and of course it'll get 15 minutes like any other. It's time begins now. All right, CEO name, Total Biscuit, Corporation name, Total Biscuit Corporation. <laughs> Corporation motto, we hate video games. There we go. All right, let us begin, shall we? Welcome to the world of Supreme! Your gateway into the world-dominating business of pizza distribution. From this humble little kitchen, you will launch your empire. Okay, I'm sure we will. All right, blue button is a menu. Right, we get that. That's our reputation. It's not very high. This is our shop. Using the interface, you'll be able to manage the shop. Okay, right, we get that. That's fine. Loans, right, okay. I don't want to spend too much time in the tutorial, obviously, because I can't really show you much of the actual game if I don't. So that's not ideal. All right, let's uh, orders. Okay, right, so it wants us to make a pizza. Ron wants a pizza. What does he want? I'd like some food, lots of pizza sauce, lots of cheese. Okay. That should be easy enough. Okay, select the pizza sauce. All right, well, this is a little messy, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Would be nice if it went a little faster than this. <laughs> it's like, I'm holding the button down and there's not quite enough stuff going on the pizza. He wants lots of pizza, sauce, lots of cheese. This, uh, this, this looks ideal. There we go. That is a perfect pizza. All right, let's cook the damn thing. On the left side of the screen are actively cooking orders to perform. Oh, okay. Am I supposed to wait until the end of it? All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, what, what, where, where did it go? I thought there was perform. I might... Supposed to click on it now? Okay, I think I burned it. That's probably not ideal. Deliver the first order. So sounds good. How exactly? So I burned the damn thing, I think. I assume I had to click on it at the right time. How do I leave this godforsaken place? Yeah, I deliver. Okay, so you click on that and then you click deliver order. Uh, oh my lord. Uh, you. You, you can't be serious with this, right? This is... This isn't a thing, right? Apparently it is a thing. Alright. But... What, what is going on? What, this is not how cars are supposed to act in any way. I'm a little confused. So, I do get to drive the pizza to the house, one assumes. So... This is the worst engine noise for anything I've ever heard in my life. That's pretty impressive. It actually sounds like it was supposed to be on the Nintendo Entertainment System. No, what? Why? <laughs> Why would any car do that? Delivery failed. I flipped the car. Great. That's... Well, that's a brilliant start. A new upgrade has become available. Does it upgrade the car not to shoot itself into the stratosphere every time it goes over a bump? That would be nice. <laughs> right then. Well, that... That was the thing. Okay, let us make lots of pizza sauce and a little cheese. All right, let's see if we can get this thing right this time. Bloody thing rocketed off into this... Uh, to another bloody dimension. A little cheese, okay. That, that's a little cheese, right? There we go. Okay, cooked pizza. Okay, cool. 
do I click perform or do I just click on the thing? All right, ready, ready, and perfect. Yes, cool. Now we click on the new delivery and we attempt to deliver it. All right, let's try and not die this time. This is the worst car to ever exist. Not only in terms of its texture quality, because holy crap, this looks like it was on the PlayStation 1, but it just, it doesn't handle well. That's half my car health gone. Good lord. This reminds me of that taxi game, only a hell of a lot worse. Why would you put this in your game? Like, I can un understand the whole idea of, hey, we want to make a game about managing a pizza place. That sounds brilliant. That sounds great. I would happily pay for that. But this is not that. This is, this is something else. This is something quite different and terrifying. Good. Put more- You asked for a little cheese! I put a little cheese on the bloody thing, and I gave you the damn pizza. You ignorant, ungrateful son of a pig. Right, lots of pizza sauce, lots of cheese. I could eat a house. Right, well, this is where you complain that I put too much bloody pizza sauce on the thing, isn't it? Look at that. That is- that is pizza sauced up the wazoo. That is a significant amount of pizza sauce. Were I to, say, find a small family and attempt to drown them in pizza sauce, that would probably be the correct amount. Alright, let's cook it, shall we? Alright, are we ready? Let's make sure we get this right. We don't want to undercook the damn thing. That would be terrible. There, so you can just click on it by the looks of it. There's perform. Alright. Yes, I, I understand how the arrows work. Thank you for the information. This is not a real car. This is something they made up. This is a facsimile of a car made by someone that had a car described to them but had never actually seen one in person. That's what this car really is. <laughs> Why would they add this bit to the game? I mean, this is just not very good. Oh my. I, just, I mean, the, the, the distinct lack of detail is not the worst bit about it. It's the whole, hi, I'm a car and I'm going into space thing that's a bit of a problem. This is a, a very vague area. I'm glad that he seems to know. I am experiencing euphoria. <laughs> and it's not due to any phony God's blessing. It's because he's enlightened by his own intelligence. Oh my. All right. Okay, Charles. Pizza sauce, cheese, and a lot of pepperoni. That we can deal with. Okay. As to how much pizza sauce he wants, that is a different matter entirely. Okay. So they complained about the lack of cheese last time. Okay, that looks good. Lots of pepperoni. All right. Get it around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. There we go. Lots of pepperoni. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's a piece of art. It's an absolute piece of art right there. Let's get ready to perform. We'll probably have to clean the shop up in a little bit, won't we? Is this all the game is? We're out of inventory. All right. Okay. We probably want to sort that out. I guess we'll sort it out after we perform this delivery. So we need to buy more stuff because we're running low on it. Why the driving bit? Also, why the cursor in the middle of the damn screen every sudden? No! Wait, cars don't work that way! Ever! Ugh. This is a hellscape. All right, how exactly do I get more ingredients? I probably want to do that. Okay, shop, region, inventory. All right, select all, buy more ingredients. Cost 30. How much money do I have? That is a lot of stuff. Okay, there we go. We bought some ingredients. We're all good. Okay, upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. Can we upgrade the car so that it doesn't explode? No, we can't afford that yet. We can unlock mushrooms, however. <laughs> I have a feeling that the developer unlocked mushrooms some time ago. Hmm. All right, we're good. Everything's looking good. Shop cleanliness is fine. No one's going to get poisoned just yet. A little pizza sauce and some cheese. All right, there you go. A little pizza sauce. That's what we like. And some cheese. There we go. It's beautiful. It's a work of art. Who wouldn't want to eat that? I can think of a few people that might not. So driving off the road does not seem to be a viable option. As weird as it seems. Okay, perform the delivery. The game's frame rate just collapses every time it attempts to render this very complex scene for whatever reason. Why does it tell me to go this way? It's dangerous. There's the tree popping is. F wow. I mean, I'll never insult an Ubisoft game ever again. That level of detail popping is quite impressive. That takes some work, I have to admit. This isn't even a car. This is. 
some sort of metaphor for all of the things that have gone wrong in my life. It's the death pod. Don't you dare crash into that tree. There we go. Why would roads be designed in this way anyway? <laughs> it's just... The jolly music in the background really accents the whole insanity of this thing. It, he doesn't live in there. Good lord. Got something great here. Pizza was perfect. Fantastic. Everyone's really happy. Good. We're, we're glad to hear that. All right. Let's... We want a pizza sauce, lots of cheese, pepperoni, and little mushroom. I am glad that I am able to simulate via the power of my PC the making of pizza and effective slave labor. <laughs> this whole thing. I do not feel like a pizza artist here. Let me put it that way. I feel much more like someone that is desperately trying to get by in a harsh world that's out to get him. That's what this game simulates. Look at that guy's dead eyes in the background there. Just terrible. Alright, let's try- You can't make any bloody money either. It takes a lot of work to actually make any money doing this. I think we've now learned why I won't want to earn a, or indeed own a pizza franchise at any point in my life. This would be a good reason. If this is what pizza life is like, then keep me the hell away from pizza life. This guy didn't choose the pizza LIFE! NO! The pizza life chose him. I maybe shouldn't have run a red light. That was probably my own fault. I will accept responsibility for that. Just... Why? I should not try this. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. Oh my. Alright. Can we get another upgrade? We have upgraded the mushrooms. Sides. Barbecue wings. We can now make barbecue wings. Excellent. I'm sure that's not going to go horribly wrong like the last thing did. What orders do we have here? Pizza sauce. Lots of cheese. Little mushroom. All right. Little cheese, actually. Lots of mushrooms. There we go. Decent amount of pizza sauce on that. Little bit of cheese. Bob's your uncle. It's gnarly, mate. Gnarly. It isn't. There we go. Delicious. I like the fact that it looks like they're just leaving the stems on there for no reason. There's just a forest of mushrooms to be found. I'm, I can maybe see why to some degree this might be compelling. Why does it always start you here? Of all the places it could start you, it's like every single time you're going to have to drive through this forest of death in order to make your way to the sodding road for God knows what reason. <laughs> why would you even build your pizza parlor there? That's no real road access. I can maybe see that the repetitive thankless task might be somewhat compelling for some people. To me, it is probably not that thing in any way. I don't find it particularly compelling, and I don't feel particularly guilty telling you that. This is a very vague delivery area, as we pointed out previously. Stop the bloody car. There we go. What do you even try to- this, I had half a forest of mushrooms on there. Good lord, what on earth are you complaining about? You whiny little- He tip- He stiffed me on the tip as well. Look at that nonsense. I have to put my life at risk every time I drive out of this place. Okay, yes, we will clean the shop up for $10. Employee of the week. No, 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 no. There are none of those that I can tell you. Okay. Let us make another order. Two pizzas. Okay, this one with pizza sauce and cheese. How fancy. I'm sure we can handle that. Well, I'm not... Uh, this was not the Pizza Tycoon game that I was looking for, I'm afraid. I would like to tell you that it was, because Pizza Tycoon was really cool. But this is not that. There's not a lot of management going on here. There's a lot of physicality. It, it's almost like a really bad version of Cook Serve Delicious, actually. And it's barely even that, honestly. It's a bit weird. It's very, very basic. Broken register. Lovely. I, you're about to tell me that I'm not going to be able to get any money from this now, aren't you? Because we somehow broke the cash register. Uh, someone fix the bloody till. Thank you very much. Get this mouse out of the way. Why? No. No. No, 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 no. Enough. <laughs> Enough. This is not... This is not reasonable. No. I've had enough of you, Supreme. I don't ever desire a pizza ever again. 
In fact, I should make a charitable donation to those having to work at pizza joints because this is apparently the pain they must suffer on a daily basis. Jesus, no. No, 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 no. Enough. There you go, folks. There's the day's 15 minutes of game. Thank you very much for watching. You can check out information on the games in the description below this video. I will see you next time.